And on this video, I'm gonna be doing some work to the chassis of the car. I'm gonna make it a lot stronger, which will make it a lot more predictable when driving out on the road, but also more fun when I go to the track. Now, how am I gonna do that? Well, TP Performance Products actually sent me a full set of their kit for the Toyota Corolla hatchback. After the installation of the parts, I'll take the car out on the road and we'll see how it performs and I'll let you guys know if I feel any difference whatsoever. Now let me tell you a little bit about TB Performance Products. Uh, the company engineers all the products here in the US and hand makes each one. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of love and care that you can tell in the workmanship of the parts. If you guys wanna check out their website, I'll put a link in the description down below. Not only do they have parts for the Toyota, they also have parts for Ford, so you're talking Mustangs, for Fiesta, for Focus, they have parts for the Mazda cars, they have parts for Honda, they have parts for Subaru. Check out their website down below if you guys wanna look at some of their products. And if you have not seen the first video where I installed the front tower brace, I'll put a link to both videos in the description down below so you guys can check them out. The rear brace is gonna be installed to these two factory points, here and here. Now each one has a 10 millimeter bolt that I have to remove and in order for me to get to it, I lowered the front seats just to give me better access, but this is the key part right here. Pulling this up, can, this can be removed. It's really only held with a couple of clips right here. And then once I got this out of the way, I have a clear shot at getting that bolt out. I have removed the hardware, which is this little hook that was held with this factory 10 millimeter bolt. Now, TV Performance does include brand new hardware, uh, but I'm gonna reuse the old hardware, this, the screw, the bolt seems long enough for the bar to be held in place. The bar is adjustable, so by turning the bar in one direction, it can contract, and if I turn the bar in another direction, the bar can expand. So right now, it's partially contracted, so I can slide it into this spot right here on this side, and slide it onto this spot right here. There we go. Now that it's inside of that spot, I'm gonna insert the bolt and torque them down. I have installed the hardware that goes on each side. So there's one bolt right here and there's the other 10 millimeter bolt. At this point, they haven't been fully locked down. I haven't torqued them because I'm gonna expand the bar. If I go this way, the, the bar contracts. If I go this way, the bar expands. So I'm gonna expand it until it's snug. And once it's snug, then I'll fully lock down both of these bolts and I'm just gonna torque them to that good old German spec, good and tight. The bar has been fully expanded and I have torqued both of the 10 millimeter bolts. I'm just gonna reinstall this thing into here. It just clips onto place. And I did expand it so the logo faces up so I can kind of see it from the outside and show off that cool TV performance logo. Let's see how this thing looks installed. And we're test driving with the TV Performance Rear Trunk Brace. Now, the installation was very, very easy, as you saw. It literally required me, I didn't even have to get down on the floor, you know, and get underneath the car. It just, I just reached behind the trunk and did all the work right there. So installation was a breeze. Do I feel any difference in the car? Well, I actually have been driving the car around and it's hard to tell the difference and this is true of any performance part when you are just driving on the street and on the freeway and that is because the limits of a car especially handling are way higher than what you can legally do on the street but i will say this that the car definitely i feel like this has rounded it up a little better and here's the thing why first i installed the front brace so that really secured the front end of the car this has a good chassis but the front brace really ties the front together and you got very good geometry there now at that point then the next weakness is the rear so you always want to have things in balance so by putting the rear trunk brace there is definitely now a more even balance in between the front and the rear so i've taken some turns a little bit harder <laughs> than i normally would and it definitely inspires a lot more confidence now here's the thing well, again with a lot of these performance parts a lot of people want to know and i had a viewer ask me this and this is a very very valid question 
how much is too much? Do I really need to install the full set? Do I really need to go all out with my suspension? And the honest answer to that, it really depends on what you want to do with the car. If your intentions are to track the car, then when you're talking track and competition, every single part matters and every single part is going to give you a little bit more edge than somebody else now you may not feel a big difference between those parts being installed but you will see a difference overall because they start to add up so once you're on the track driving around those things those small little changes add up to big numbers and in track when you're talking about track it's seconds half a second even quarter you know smaller portions of a second are massive improvements now for the street when you don't need to be the always winning <laughs> do you really need all the parts no you don't need all the performance parts now is it cool to have them definitely also is a need to pull up to another coral a hatchback or coral a210 and knowing that you have either a little bit more power because you modded your engine or you have better chassis because you have uh, reinforced it so from that standpoint i think it is definitely worth it now this particular turn is not a hard turn but it's definitely one of my favorite ones oh when you can feel the g-forces you can feel how the car sticks to the road and so those little things when you're like nah it was definitely worth it that i installed that part and that's just an example of one time when you can experience that if you go to a track or autocross event you'll definitely will see an improvement and also it really does give you more confidence if you're ever kind of reaching some of those higher speeds and particularly on the freeway some of the highways have higher speed limits those higher speed limits do make the car a little bit more unstable having the suspension parts it feels better you're gonna feel safer overall so it's not just about performance the parts ultimately help the car be safer so i think that's pretty cool and here's another turn again it's a good thing we came to mexico <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Ooh. here's the bottom line <laughs> the installation is so easy the price is very reasonable it looks really cool in the rear so i definitely would say yeah definitely go for this part i put a link in the description down below if you guys want to check that part out and i do have that video coming up for the under trunk brace that's gonna go on the rear of the car so i'm excited to install that and i have a bunch of other toyota corolla e210 videos coming up so make sure you guys stay tuned by being subscribed if you find any part of this video helpful hit the thumbs up button and if you guys have any questions regarding the trunk brace or the installation also please put a comment down below thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one